Hi, this is Chris Lukey from University of Illinois Extension. I'm the horticulture educator serving Bond, Clinton, Marion, Jefferson, and Washington counties. And today we're going to be talking about ZZ plants, Zomacaucus. We have our ZZ plant that is too large for our container. And so now we have some opportunity with seeing some new growth starting that we can separate our plant and put it into a container that it's happier in and it can just continue to grow. So we're gonna take a little bit of the soil away from around the edges of our plant so that we can start to divide and separate out our plants. So we can see the root system. So what we wanna do is we wanna gradually take our hands and go into the root system. And as we're going in there, we can divide this plant as we see these new growth starting by these bulbets, we can pull these out. Again, we have a root system, we have new growth starting, we have all this new starts are, are beginning to form. So this is going to divide this mature plant into a couple sections here. We want to be very gentle. You can see that we have some old growth going on, but we want to be real gentle when we pull the root system apart so we can repot this. If you have a one that is older, you can see the discoloration on it. This one can be discarded. So this one is not gonna be viable. We'll wanna discard this root. Okay, so we have a mother plant, this one right here. This larger system, as you can see, it's fully established. We've got large uh, bulbs that are going on. We have new growth that's occurring from it. So this is our mother plant. We can see these young daughter plants. They have a healthy root system. We wanna be very careful when we're transplanting, but we wanna make sure that we can grab the bulb bit and then all the fine roots that are going around. So this fibrous root system. This is very nice daughter plant that we'll be able to establish. They'll become a mother plant. They'll continue to divide off and continue to grow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start by replanting our transplanting our daughter plant into a larger container. Uh, remember, when we pick out our containers, we want them to have holes that are for good drainage to go through there. We also want to use our potting soil, right? So this is a flowering plant and we want the green foliage to be established. So we're wanting to use our potting soil that has uh, core in it. It has a little bit of uh, perlite to it, but mainly it has a lot of organic matter and compost. We're gonna go ahead and transplant. So you can see this nice uh, daughter plant that's gonna get moved. She has some new starts that are established. She has some a great foliage coming up. Make sure that we place our roots down in there. You want to get them down into the soil so they have a chance to grow down and around. Make sure that we have all of our roots down in our new container and then we want to add soil to the top. We're going to go around each side. Make sure that we have this new potting soil. This is going to allow for the roots to become established in this media. We want to have secure roots and lots of room to continue to grow and to allow this plant to become fully established. We want this to be in indirect sunlight so they like a south facing window that's gonna get plenty of sunlight. And then we can go ahead and get on a watering. We can do a check system on our water. We can put, a, uh, put our fingers down about an inch in, see if the water is there. We can also mist it around if we're too afraid of too much water. We can always use some other techniques to make sure that we're not overwatering. Remember, a key is that we don't want to overwater our plants. Um, overwatering hurts them and causes foliar issues and uh, root rot to occur. So as you can see, we have transplanted our daughter plant into this nice new container. It's going to have plenty of room to grow and continue its, its journey on and producing new plants. We have other, another daughter plant that's been transplanted in a little bit smaller container because that one is the right size for that plant. Um, if you have any other questions, please reach out to us at Illinois Extension. You can contact your local Extension office or a master gardener and ask them about dividing or transplanting their houseplants. Thank you.